tropical cyclone will be Saturday night through Sunday night with temperatures in the low 80s. But I'll tell you, this has been a busy year. So far now we've had 25 storms for this year. And the one thing about the storms is that we've had a very active hurricane season. At this point right now, they're still tracking the hurricane that is making its way towards the Gulf Coast. And the rapid intensification is the biggest issue. We talked to meteorologist uh, Danielle Miller for the latest on these hurricanes. This hurricane season has been exhausting to say the least. We've gone through the normal 21 names and moved on to the Greek alphabet for a total of 25 named storms so far. Now, changes in our yearly weather patterns can make a season more or less active, but climate change is making the storms that we do see even stronger. Tropical cyclones get a lot of their fuel from warm ocean waters. One of the effects we are seeing with climate change is that our oceans are getting even warmer. According to Climate Central, the water temperature in the tropical Atlantic has risen about 1.85 degrees over the past 100 years. Scientists have also noticed an increase in storm strength. A study from NOAA Sims has found that in the North Atlantic, there has been a 49% jump per decade in probability that a tropical cyclone will become a major hurricane of Category 3 strength or higher. But we don't all live along the coast, so why is this important to us? Well, according to the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, there have been over $7 billion in damages across the state over the past 12 years related to flooding and other hurricane-related events. In recent memory, the floods of 2015 were caused by tropical moisture associated with Hurricane Joaquin. This year, we have seen the remnants of numerous tropical systems move through the Midlands, bringing heavy rainfall and causing flooding in some locations. If our climate continues warming at the rate that it is, we can expect to see stronger tropical systems form. This means more coastal inundation, stronger storms with higher winds, and even more flooding rains as storms move inland. In Columbia, Danielle Miller, News 19, WLTX.